Hey, this is James from Sonic Academy and Makerspace. Today, I don't have a problem. I have a solution. Let's have a look. M600 filament sensor. It works. Hey, this is James from Sonic Academy and Makerspace, going where creativity takes us. Today, we're going to talk about M600 and filament runout sensor. What are those? Well, M600 is the function in your firmware which allows the print to be paused. It will raise the head up and move it to the side, and then it will use the extruder to pull the filament out, and then you can reload new filament. We have change filament. Goes up, moves over, and parts itself, beeps, unloads filament, beeps three times, waits, extrudes, has to resume to print, moves back to position pretty cool function, right? Plus, a filament sensor, that's going to tell the printer if the filament runs out, that it should trigger that M600. My problem was, when I enabled it, reflash the hard drive, uh, the firmware, it was just randomly doing it. And that's not right. You don't want it to pause randomly. So, in the rush to try to figure out what it was, I had the Arduino IDE open. In my case, it's running on Marlin 1.1.8. And I had Repetier, which allowed me to control it. I also had uh, Cura, because I was slicing something. And I had Octoprint open at the same time. And I had been reflashing the firmware a lot recently, because I'd been testing a lot of different features. Eliminating all the things, I closed everything down except for the Arduino IDE and tried to take out the filament sensor, just the M600, and trigger using the controller. But it was still giving me some random errors. What I did was I shut down the printer, I disconnected the Arduino Mega, which is the board where the firmware actually runs on, from the ramps, which is the board that sits on top of it, which has all of your motor controllers and your sensors and all that sort of stuff. Disconnected those, manually reset my Arduino, and then I, without the ramps connected, I reflashed the firmware onto it, just M600 enabled, reconnected everything, turned the printer back on, and started to print, and tried to, using the control panel, trigger the filament change, the M600, and it worked. Took everything apart again, took the Arduino off, reflashed it with the filament sensor enabled, and reattached everything. Worked. So, the moral here is eliminate all other possibilities and go back to the very basics. So eliminate everything else, figure out what the problem is, fix that, and then add each thing to see if there are other problems. It's pretty fine. It's filling it now, so it's not running out. Victory! Yay! Big thanks to the 3D printing professor for his moral support and uh, the low poly dinos. By the way, keep your eyes open for a upcoming video about those. Otherwise, this channel is about going where creativity takes you and creativity has taken us to wanting to do more bigger, interesting, crazy things. Make a Frankenstein 400 millimeter cubed, 3D printed printer, Darth Vader mask fully 3D printed, uh, a fully functional BB-8. All of those things cost money. 
and your help is greatly appreciated. We have affiliate links down below for Amazon and eBay. If you want to do some shopping, want to help us out, those are great. One-time donation for any specific project, links down below. Steam, that is the uh, Streamlab. And there is Patreon if you want to, if you like what we're doing and you want to support us and me to continue making new things, there is always the Patreon. Otherwise, this channel is about going where creativity takes you. So why don't you go where your creativity takes you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Keep making.